Dr. Daniel Friedland is a national expert on integrative holistic medicine and the founder of Super Smart Health. In addition to that very impressive those very impressive credentials, Dr. Friedland is the co-founder of SpaEvidence.com. It's the first online resource where people can access the hard science behind most common wellness approaches such as massage, acupuncture, and yoga. He's the medical director of Barney and Barney in Southern California, and he's the author of one of the first textbooks on evidence-based medicine, a methodology widely used by doctors today. So I'd like to introduce Dr. Friedland. I'm incredibly excited to be here with you today. Uh, I love the fact that we're all here today talking about a wellness revolution on Capitol Hill. That's just totally cool. And that revolution has been underway now for actually a number of years. In fact, if you look at the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, wellness is mentioned in that act. So I thought we would start out this little brief talk playing the prices right. Because I know a number of you have toiled laboriously over that, what, 974 page document. So here's the question. How many times has wellness been mentioned in the Affordable Care Act? <laughs> Wild seven. Do we need some incentives, right? We're talking about wellness, some wellness incentives? How about a massage? Oh, there the we right go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, you say, Natasha? I would definitely say about 65 times. Pretty good, okay. Anybody going higher? 66 <laughs> perhaps. 98 times. Not enough times. Okay, not enough times. <laughs> 98 of two. Not enough times. So we're talking about a wellness revolution, but I also want to mention that this revolution goes beyond wellness. It moves into wellness empowerment. More and more patients want to make choices to drive their decision to their destination of health and well-being. But for any revolution to be successful, you've got to have a vision. We really need to know what is this destination, health, and wellness that we're driving towards. So when I went through my medical training in the late 80s and early 90s, I learned that health was the absence of disease. This is the sickness care model and definition. So I challenge you over here that this revolution is about reframing our definition of health to begin with. And when you see when we reframe it, you also understand who gets to play. And it invites a broader group of stakeholders, including the spa industry, to play a very, very important role. So my second question to you over here is, does anybody know what is the root of the word health? We're in the healthcare business. <laughs> I know Mario knows. Okay. Heal. Heal. Okay, what's the root of the word heal? It's the same root word. And you're in great company. I've given... I've taught Helios, huh? Helios, the light. Okay. No, no. <laughs> but we have a consolation prize for that one. <laughs> okay. no. The root of the word health doesn't come from Latin or Greek. It comes from Old English. Hal, H A squiggle L. It's wholeness. The root of the word health is wholeness. So we're in the health business. What's the root of the word patients? The patients we are, or the patients we care for. That does come from the Latin. And what that means is to suffer. So patients suffer from fragmentation of mind, body, and spirit. And our role as healer, same root word, thank you, is to bring patients back to a place of essential wholeness, health. Both after, and more importantly now, before they get sick. That's the journey. That's the journey. Now on that journey, we have challenges. Healthcare providers and patients alike were overwhelmed by this mountain of scientific information. We were overwhelmed by the complexity of the healthcare system. And we were overwhelmed by stress and uncertainty that fragments our sense of wholeness each and every day. So one of the solutions to this is evidence-based medicine. And I had the privilege of writing one of the early textbooks on evidence-based medicine. And this has now become the way that all doctors are, are trained to make medical decisions. And I have a passion for bringing this same methodology and putting it in the hands of patients. 
Evidence-based medicine is also mentioned numerous times in the Affordable Care Act as well. But still, evidence-based medicine is not enough. We still need a vision on how to best incorporate evidence-based medicine to empower patients in their wellness. So three years ago, I created a website called Super Smart Health. And I wanted to do this so I could offer a vision and tools to empower healthcare providers and patients to partner together in their pursuit of health and wellness. The vision on Super Smart Health is framed by four principles. The first principle is each one of you is the CEO of your health. Second principle is as the CEO of your health, you get to define your mission statement for optimal health. I also serve on the American Board of Integrative Holistic Medicine, so I'd like to offer for your consideration the definition the board uses. I want you to think right now, could you use this in your life? What they define as optimal health or wellness is that it is the conscious pursuit of the highest level of functioning of the physical, environmental, mental, emotional, social, and spiritual aspects of human experience resulting in a state of being fully alive. Talking about prosperity. This definition enables us to experience wellness in both the presence and the absence of disease. It also invites participation from a broader group of stakeholders in the traditional medical system, including the spa industry, which has a long history of investing health sickness in their health, vitality, and wellness. The third principle of super smart health is that you are then able to recognize your resources to support your mission statement for health and wellness. Now here, certainly we recognize the immense value of the conventional medical system. But we also recognize the value that complementary and alternative medicine has to play. More than 40% of patients and more than 40% of hospitals now engage in complementary and alternative care. Integrative medicine is defined by the National Center for Complementary and Alternative Medicine as the intersect between conventional medicine and, con and complementary alternative medicine for where high quality evidence exists to support what works. So as a healthcare provider practicing evidence-based medicine, I don't particularly care if something is conventional or can, east, west. I want to know just, does it work, period. Both within integrative medicine and beyond it, we've got to look further. Core to physical well-being and wellness is good water, good air, healthy nutrition, exercise, love, compassion, nature, and your ability to tap into whatever you define is your deeper source of inspiration, which makes Wellness Week and the Wellness Week pledge over here today so incredibly important. The fourth and, pr the fourth and final principle of Super Smart Health is that you are empowered to harness these resources towards your definition of health and wellness. Now, to do that, we need three key skills. The first thing you need to know how to do is you need to know how to navigate science so you know what's likely to work. Second, you need to know how to navigate the healthcare system so you can get support to implement what works. And third, we need to know how to turn inwards to find meaning, motivation, and purpose to take action what works. Now, with the vision and support of Susie Ellis, the president of SparFinder, and Sally Frankel, the spa industry has endeavored to empower all of these three areas. And if you are skilled in all of these three areas, you have thoroughly mastered wellness empowerment. So when it comes to navigating science, here's where evidence-based medicine is crucial. If you understand how your doctors make decisions and the resources they use, you can partner with your doctors to better care. Last year, I had the great pleasure of working with Susie and Dr. Ken Pelletier and Dr. Mark Cohen to create the first ever evidence-based medicine portal for the spa industry. It's called spaevidence.com. And it brings together all of the scientific research from trusted, res from trusted resources 
um, so that you can come together and make informed decisions on SWA and wellness therapies so you know what's likely to work. When it comes to navigating the broader wellness system, well, here's where, with Sally's vision, Wellness Week invites you to explore a range of service and, uh, services that the spa industry offers so you can know and you can get support to implement what's likely to work in this area here as well. Finally, when it comes to inspiring you to take action what works, we have the Wellness Week pledge. Seven simple, powerful, and evidence-based steps to empowering your mission statement for optimal health, well-being, and vitality. I'm really excited to, uh, that Ms. Mariel Hemingway, Ms. Mariel Hemingway will be sharing this with us in a moment. It's been a great pleasure and privilege to be here with you today. I wish you all well. Thank you.